We now want to look at the growth path if we see an increase in our chi variable, right? And that is a variable showing how productive we are at producing those new ideas, right, in this Romer model these new ideas. So how productive are people that are engaged in research and development because we can become more productive at that process. So we'll do the same thing we did before where we're looking at this uh, time series model where we're looking how things are changing over time and we want to see how output uh, is changing. That's what this growth path is. And we're going to say at some point of time period t, let's say time period t equals zero, which will go right here that's when we see the change. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a dotted line as straight as possible up so we can see what happens before and after. Again, let's just make sure that we're comfortable with this. We know that the growth rate of Y is going to equal one over one minus beta times the growth rate of A, plus it's going to be uh, beta times the growth rate of K. But however, right, when we're in a steady state, when k is in a steady state, the growth rate of y is just equal to 1 over 1 minus beta uh, times the growth rate of a. Also, the growth rate of a is equal to chi times alpha times n bar. So right away, we should notice that if I'm saying that there's an increase in chi, we know the increase in a, uh, growth rate of a, is going to increase. So let's go ahead and look before. So look before, we can do a straight line beforehand, before any changes, let's just say that we've seen us in steady state. And so we saw this as one over one minus beta times the growth rate of A, but then something changes, okay, something changes. What we know changes, when we look here, we know for a fact that there's going to be the growth rate of A. In some of our other videos, we also saw that there was going to be some sort of jump, either up or down. Is that going to be the case here? Well, let's think about it. So will y sub t change right away? Well, what is our y sub t? Remember our y sub t we defined as 1 minus alpha a sub t and then k p sub t raised to the beta. Notice chi is not in here. We know there are a lot of things in there, right? We know alpha's in there, which is why we saw some sort of disconnect. We know that A uh, of the last period is in there. We, we know that this K sub P is in there, meaning that when population changes, it's going to change. So there are a lot of things that would change Y right at this point, but chi is not one of them. So the only thing that chi changes is the growth rate of A. That's a very interesting thing to know. Therefore, the only change we see is that growth rate of a and it's going to go it's going to be positive right if this is positive holding all else constant is positive and that should make sense right technology is going to grow at a faster rate if we become more productive at producing these ideas this technology so all that's going to tell us is now we can create a straight line again at that same pot there isn't a disconnect it's just going to have a higher slope so what we've done in the past is said, okay, let's assume that we didn't have an increase, right? So we would have continued on this growth path. But instead, what we're going to see is we're going to see a higher level, which gets our overall output. And this is 1 over 1 minus beta times the growth rate of A. But the growth rate of A is now higher because we saw our increase in the productivity of us producing ideas, which is an increase in that chi variable.